How you guys doing? Coach Michael Burt. I'm in Reno, Nevada. Having a rare day off. Got some beautiful views. And uh, I like talking about things that irritate me. Everywhere I go in the country, people want me to talk about recession proofing a business. I got to recession proof the business. We're in a recession. Right, and, and I was just with the group yesterday in, in Lincoln, Nebraska, mortgage originators who are being hit the hardest by a so-called recession. And, and I started asking people in the room, if we're in a recession, how valuable is a lead to you? And how many people in the room are doing just a couple basic things? How many people in the room are prospecting for two hours a day on nothing but new money? Okay, how many people in the room are following up um, seven to 15 touches. How many people are engaging with past clients? How many people are meeting new people because you don't need more money, you need more people? You see, when I hear people talk about a recession, what I really am hearing, John Hart, is people make excuses for not doing the basic things they need to win, right? And the basics, what we should be doing is not talking about this. So this is the main lesson I want to show you today. Anytime you think the problem is out there, it's in the government, it's in the economy, it's in your boss, it's in somebody else. Anytime you think the problem is out there, that thought is the problem, okay? So I learned this many years ago, uh, David Speck, from Covey, who was my mentor. And he said, he learned this from Viktor Frankl, which is between stimulus and response is a space. And in that space lies our ability to choose our response. We cannot control the response. We can only control the stimulus. So even today on my day off, Thomas C. Davidson, I'm walking around Reno, Nevada, and I'm texting people and calling people and following up with people. And some are interested and some not. I don't, it doesn't matter to me either way. I can only help people uh, that commit to something, right Brock? So all I can do is present an opportunity to a person and go, look man, I can't help you till you commit to something. You, you can stay where you are. We can have this talk today. We can have it six, six months from today, but you and I both know nothing's gonna change. If you could have done it on your own, you'd already done it, man. I hear people say, well, I just don't know if I need this. I don't know if I can invest in this. Look, if you could have already built a business or a million dollar business or two million dollar business or whatever it is you're trying to do, you would have already done it. Okay, so at what point do you say I need help from another person? So so for you, all you can do, Thomas C. Davidson, is, is control the outbound effort. That's why the new book, Flip the Switch, is so important, man. It focuses on initiation. It focuses on initiating. I initiate all day, I connect with people, I locate problems, and I offer them a compelling solution. And then I invite them to go deeper. And, and, and the serious people will step up and the pretenders will step out. There's a whole chapter in the new book on pretenders and contenders. And at first I didn't want to put it in there, but then I'm like, no, I'm keeping it in there because there's too many people in the world that do not, do not. See, listen, so all these people that want me to talk about recession proof of business, folks, you're not even doing the basic things you need all day, every day to run an effective business, which is outbound effort, follow up on every lead as if it's gold, go seven to 15 touches, engage with people like crazy. There was a woman that sent an email into my office, just wanted some help with one simple thing. I followed up with her. I said, are you currently in our coaching program? She said, no, I'm not. And I'm like, okay, are you interested in being in our coaching program? Cause you, you reached out to me for some help. She said, well, I watch you on Instagram and I watch you on YouTube. And I said, yeah, but that ain't the same man, as being coached by me, right? This, this is not me coaching you. Being in the room with me is me coaching you. So she said, absolutely, I'm interested in your coaching program. So I took a person that had a simple question. I initiated. I didn't have to. I located a problem. Money changes hands when problems are solved. And I invited her to go to the next step. And then I follow up and present her an idea. And I do that over and over and over and over and over. So if, you've, if you're out there say, using the recession word, quit, quit using that word, folks. We don't talk about the R word. Because anytime we think the problem is out there, that thought is the problem. I'm going to Lake Tahoe tomorrow to do person of interest. No hotels available. No hotels anywhere available. Right? Why? Because we're in a recession, right? People going to Lake Tahoe, spending all kinds of money on $600 hotel rooms, folks. So quit fooling yourself and start, start focusing on what you can control, which is your effort and your outbound effort. You guys know I love you, but everybody needs a coach in life. And a good coach, Andre will push you to have conversations you don't want to have, right? Push you to do some things. And they'll reframe 
reframe your mindset when 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 right they're gonna reframe your mindset when it ain't working right okay I love uh, Las Vegas I love out here in uh, in this area it's nice it's beautiful so you guys have a great day God bless you being a monster is about taking your purpose and distributing it to the world in a very very high level what do you want people to say about your business what do you want to be known as in five years and your journey as an entrepreneur is not to achieve this or that. Your journey as an entrepreneur is to become this or that. Because in life, you get who you are. The more relationships you get, the more money you get. So the more money you get, the more relationships you get. It just keeps going back and forth. You guys want to surround yourself with high net worth individuals and you will eventually become one. Why? Because of the relationship. Today, some of you are going to take some action that is going to propel you into the future so much that you don't recognize the person you look forward to later. If you don't build your dreams, somebody is going to hire you to build theirs. How many times have you failed? Fail again. Who cares? Just keep failing. Keep failing. You only have to be right one time. People are counting on you to show up. They're counting on you to grow up. They're counting on you to deliver. They're counting on you to be the best you can be for you. Because if you ain't the best for you, you ain't gonna be the best for anybody else, folks.